This is Science Max. Experiments at large. Science Max! Well, hello there, Science Maximites. Today, we are going to be flying on Science Max Experiments at Large. Take a look at this. It's my paper airplane. Give her a bit of a throw, and she flies amazing. Now, take a look at this. This one is lighter than air. It's a helium balloon, and guess what? It flies on its own. See you later. Well, just hold on a second there, friend. What's this what you might call it called? I'll tell you. It's called a hoop glider. Give it a toss and she flies really well. But today we're flying in a whole new way, Science Maximites. I know it sounds like we've covered all the bases for flying, but we haven't. Come on, follow me. Oh, didn't actually realize how much these goggles would fog up. Um, where was I? Oh, right, we're flying today on Science Max. Come on. Today, we're going to be building a tumble wing. That's a kind of paper airplane that flies on a cushion of air. This is a big mouth tumble wing. It doesn't look like much because, well, it's not. It's just two strips of paper taped at either end. But what you do is you throw it in the air and you walk along behind it with a hard surface like this. And that little scoop of air keeps it flying. And here's how you can make a tumble wing of your own. But first, a word about paper. Did you know that paper comes in different weights? The kind of paper you get from the printer is actually pretty heavy. The ideal paper to use for tumbleweed making is from a phone book. You may not have a phone book at home. They're kind of rare right now. But its paper is very, very thin and the perfect for tumbleweed flying. Now, if you don't have a phone book around, you can use newspaper. It works almost as well. What you do is you cut out some strips of paper and you just need two, and you put them on top of each other, and then you offset them, which means you take the top one and you slide it over till there's about maybe a centimeter, two centimeters, something like that. And then you take your handy dandy science tape, which is the same as regular tape, except you use this tape only for science. And you tape the edges very carefully like that and flip it over to the other side, make a little tape on this side, just like that, and there you go. You have a big mouth tumbleweed. Now you also want to tweak it just like you do with a paper airplane. You want to curl the paper a little bit, curl this side a little bit, and let's see how it flies. You'll know you have it right when it doesn't go to the left or right, but just opens up and tumbles straight down. Ah, not too bad. That one curved a little bit, so I'll have to tweak it a little more. Now, the other thing you're gonna need is a nice hard surface. The kind of signs that you get when there's an election are perfect. I happen to have a few of these sitting around, and they are made of something called corrugated plastic. They're very light, but they're also very hard. So you can use this, but you can also use cardboard if you don't have any of these around. So what you wanna do is get your tumbleweed and your hard surface and flip it in the air Get it flying very nicely, and then walk behind it with your board, and a scoop of air will be behind it, and it will fly. But it may look easy when I do it, but that's because I've been practicing quite a bit. So here are some tips for tumbleweed flying. Tumbleweed flying tips. When flying your tumbleweed, you want to be indoors, away from any wind or other kinds of moving air. A long hallway or a big room is best, so you don't run out of space. The angle you hold your board is important. Too much tilt or too little and it won't work. Keeping your tumblewing in the air is mostly about the speed that you walk. Too fast and the tumblewing will go over the top, too slow and it'll fall. Finally, practice, practice, practice. Happy tumblewing flying. <laughs> My name is Phil, and I take your everyday science experiments and do them big. This is Science Max, experiments at large. Science Max! Dang.